Yo, what's up, my people? Welcome to ADG Wrestling Sports Games Network for an episode of ADG Universe. AJ Uso is officially now on Monday Night Representing the Usos from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jay. I'm gonna have to talk to that announcer because Jay Uso is no longer, no longer representing the bloodline. No longer. He may be an Uso at heart, but he's not representing the family like that. Right now, Jay Uso is on his own. And some of you may know, some of you may not know, Jay Uso is officially getting a shot at the top prize of Monday Night Raw. The World Heavyweight Championship held by Seth Rollins, so that's going to make the upcoming matchup. Before I say that, I want to pause for bad, bad news, Barry. Because I do have some bad news for Jay. Because if he loses not match tonight, bad news, Barry. We'll be joining the matchup as well. What was supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one match at Money in the Bank between Seth Rollins and Shinsuke Nakamura can now be a fatal four-way if if Barrett wins here tonight. Some of you guys may know the AJ Rush rules. If someone can beat a contender or a champion, they will be added to the upcoming championship matchup. For Way Barrett tonight, that is his chance. His chance to climb the mountain. Let's go. But yeah. Big night tonight for AEG Universe. I know you guys have been waiting for this. It's going down. It's going down. A lot of fans chanting for Jay right now. Jay. Jay get. Oh, Jay's in it. Oh, right to the face with a super kick. Use that say something super when they come off the top rope. But this time, face to face in action. Something super. Jay Uso, top rope. Here we go. No. Oh. Oh my God. And I bet. You cannot uh, cut Barrett out of this thing, though. Oh, Jay. Got him up top. Jay up top. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. But so much going down. In, the, in our universe, uh, last week, Mustafa Ali shocked everyone. Eve Torres, well, a lot of shockers making a lot of fatal situations, a lot of threatening situations for upcoming matches where we're seeing triple threats and everything. And I have another announcement that's gonna happen later on tonight where we see Carmelo and, uh, Carmelo and the girl she faced off with, the lady, the woman, the diva, the former diva she faced off against, Eve Torres last week, who's victorious in victory. They will be doing action and tag team action, and in that match, I will have a special announcement. You don't want to miss it. And I do realize there's still a lot of things that I promised that we have not gotten underway, but it's, it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Look at Jay now, looking pretty decisive here tonight. Look at on his game. But we gotta address what happened on the end of SmackDown. If you haven't watched SmackDown, you got 10 seconds. I'm gonna give you a countdown to get out of here. And then I'm, you're gonna get spoiled. A 10, a 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Prepare to be spoiled because last week at the end of SmackDown, we seen Jay Uso get beat down by Roman Reigns in a non-title matchup. And you know, we weren't gonna make it for the title. Roman wanted to prove that he could have beat Jay to begin with. So we had a little non-title competition. And that's when it all broke down. This crowd tonight crazy for Jay Uso. You hear the chance. Now Jay's gonna fly. Oh! Gets counted by Barrett. Barrett into the cover after the Miss Uso splash. Ah. 
got to give it up for Barrett. He's been a fighting superstar week after week on the show, trying to prove and get his name back in the limelight in sports entertainment. And he says that ADG Universe is the place to do it. Off the ropes, the Irish Witch. Oh, nope. Jay Uso tosses him back in. Bad New Barrett with a counter there. Oh, Bad New Barrett went for a little kick of his own. Oh. And now Jay showing up. This is how you do it, bro. This is how you do a super kick. Now top rope. Uso splash. No, Jay misses again. Jay for the second time missing the Uso splash. A punch directly to the face. Wade Barrett got right back up, but not that time. Not that time. Wade Barrett, I'm pretty sure right now, is busted open at the hands of Jay Russo. The question is, is that money in the bank? Can Jay Uso win the World Heavyweight Championship? It's been all about Shinsuke. And then, but how does Shinsuke feel about this as well as Seth Rollins? The fact that now Jay has been brought over and he's going to be in the big time position for the title. But now Jay looking to end it with a third time be the charm. Uso splash, baby. From the top, something super. And Jay Uso wins. Main event, Jay Uso is now Monday Night Raw. And let's check out those replays. Let me check out the replays once again. An apology. There's a lot of the, the cosmetic things that I was going to do. I haven't done a lot of the splash and, you know, the extra stuff. I haven't been set up yet, and I do apologize for that. But, you know, y'all see what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot on the channel. Here is your winner, main event, Jay. But I have faith in my commentary alone and the matches that you guys are going to see on this show, including here tonight, will be enough to make up for what's not there. Quality matches without the flash here tonight. Guaranteed. Give it up for Jay Uso. All right, big matches to start off the show. We haven't been televising a lot of the matches between uh, Damage Control. Uh, I do have to make an announcement about, about Damage Control. You guys have seen, regardless of what happens here tonight in this matchup, because it was happening over the last couple of weeks between Brie Bella, uh, the Bellas, and including last week against uh, Chance and Carter. So I have to give Chance and Carter and the Bellas a shot at Money in the Bank. It's going to be a triple threat ladder match at Money in the Bank. Winner will take the tag team titles. So here tonight, this two on two matchup, it really doesn't matter it's anything except momentum. Who's going to get it? Dakota Kai and Eo Sky actually win here tonight to prove that they can beat the Bellas. But what's going to happen in that triple threat? The Bellas have been a thorn in their side for the last couple of weeks. I think they could definitely win it. Uh, it's going to be interesting. One of the most interesting matches on the card coming up at Money in the Bank in a couple of weeks. Now it's going to take us to this matchup. This is a tornado tag matchup. Last week, we seen Carmelo lose to E. Torres. E. Torres is now being named the contender because technically Carmelo's right. Technically, Carmelo should have been the number one been the number one contender to begin with, but I gave it to Ronda. Ronda came at me with the okie doke, you know, saying she hasn't had, where's her ADG Rising Sports Games Network championship title you know and she's right where is it uh drew has also been in a thorn on my side asking me like where is this title where is this title um cody's been asking why he hasn't got a shot at the title um it's gonna happen um i don't know what's going on with the belt makers or whatever but we're the championship titles will be here soon i've been told so but as we go to the ring at this for this match carmella has found another diva to have her match at night the legendary maurice here tonight backing carmelo in a match versus another legendary diva who is one of our contenders the in e -Torres. Is a tornado tag and team e -Torres has introduced to first from montreal to quebec tonight. canada maurice 
This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be contested on the tornado tag rules. So it's gonna be an all out brawl, but you must pin in the ring. Any superstar on the other team at any time can pin the opposing team member for the one, two, three for the victory. This is gonna be crazy. I love these tornado tags, to be honest. It's just like a, as JR would say back in the day day, it's us all out brawl. It's a slobber knocker. But yeah, I had to give Mella what she deserved. Mella and all her money, all her lawyers, Corey's lawyers. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, Corey. All y'all, they came at me. And I had to give her what she deserved. She's gonna get the rematch and she's gonna get it at Money in the Bank. So currently right now, Money in the Bank, it's not gonna be a ladder match. We already got enough of those going down. But at Money in the Bank, and her partner from it Staten will Island, be New York. The most beautiful woman a fatal in all elimination of match. WWE, Carmella. And in that match, it will be Carmella, E. Torres, Ronda Rousey, and Becky Lynch. I think that's crazy that Becky has to defend under those conditions, but if she's able to defend under those conditions, she will prove why she is the man, beating not one, but three top talent talents from the present, and the pass if she gets it done. And this is a good match for Raquel Rodriguez. Texas, okay. If Raquel Rodriguez want to be uh, put in the limelight, if she want to start making uh, big moves in her career here in Aging Verse, a win here tonight will go a long ways. It's Sky Red rocking her up the rankings of the Aging Universe divisions. Also, if you guys could check out my Instagram, it's on the channel. Uh, but if you, if you just want to look for it at, at the gamer ex and also check out my Twitter at, at the gamer uh, Sometimes I post uh, routes and stuff everything at the gamer over on both of those channels, but you know, all, Both of those social media spots, but basically uh, you get nice little news little extra tidbits and things like that So follow it today her debut can she continue the momentum here tonight and if you're Becky Lynch you got it you got to think one of the threat the most threatening things right now even though Ronda is one of them you got to think if each of us get another W she's gonna be hot she's gonna be ready to go I mean she is hot in general but on top of that she's gonna be ready to go ready to do got some big-time punishment and she continues to rack up these W's Here we go. There's gonna be a lot of action to call here. More than two people in the ring in a tornado style matchup. We get kind of hectic here. I'm gonna call what I see when I see it. Oh, nice slap there. Carmelo on E. Torres. There is no love lost between these two. And oh, the power here for Kel Gonzalez on the race. Nice hip toss by Carmelo. I think Carmelo is very underestimated. And some definitely probably underestimated her after a loss. But she was she has been champion for a reason. And I've seen her breaking the fourth wall here in numerous spots in universe mode in this game. Do crazy things if you see me. Uh, but uh, Carmelo is definitely someone who's got it done in numerous uh, federations and in sports entertainment. The crowd really enjoying the action here tonight. 
as Maurice and Raquel go head to head on the inside. And it seems like E. Torres and Carmella just continuing where they left off at. At this point, I'm wondering who does Carmella hate worse? E. Torres or the woman who took her title? It, it, most likely it's the woman who took her title. But I got a funny feeling E. Torres is not that far behind in her disgust. Maurice has not lost a step. Very aggressive here tonight on the Kel Gonzalez. E. Torres into the cover here. She's not working by the hour, E. Torres here tonight. Nice elbow. Once again, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. If you have not liked the comment, please do so. Let me know what you like about the series, what you don't like about the series. Let me know. I know it's been a long road up in those first episodes. <laughs> Anytime you stop doing something, you kind of lose your mojo. Uh, you lose your position. You lose your settings on top of that if you deleted your stuff from the studio. So the comeback period and me learning and getting back into the action, uh, filling the new robberies and whatnot. Oh, no, not. Oh, God. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, God. E. Torres there. They're now, they're just having their way with Carmella into the cover. Not sure why Raquel didn't try to break that up. A little Latina heat going on here with Rodriguez and Torres. threat in the women's tag team division. I know Eo and Dakota are thinking like, oh, we have enough of that. We don't need no more of that going on. Nice drop hit. Now, oh, Carmella with the Mella Buster into the cover. Torres kicked out. I thought that was it. She kicked out though. Somehow she managed to kick out. I don't know how she did it, but she did it. And Raquel kicks. Oh, Raquel here showcasing her power. This could definitely be it. The glory special will Carmella tap. And think of how crazy this would be for Raquel if she could do it here. Raquel Rodriguez. Oh man, oh man, oh. But the former champion continued to get out, but what? But Maurice managed to get, Maurice managed to get the fall for her team, so her and Carmella are victorious. When Raquel was concentrating on the submission, it's like Maurice took this whole thing away. Here are your winners, Maurice and Carmella. I need to get a better angle. Is there a way we can get a better angle on what happened just now? Is, is Can we get a better angle? I mean, congratulations to Carmella and Maurice, but can we get a better angle? What happened out there? Like she got a super kick in. That's what I'm, I'm seeing now. She got a nice super kick in, and that was it. All right. Um, Maurice in action, but then also tonight, her husband, The Miz, here, taking on Finn Balor and Cody Rhodes. The winner of that matchup. Cody Rhodes with the victory. Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens. What? Who booked this match? This is this is Kevin's farewell matchup, and he's gonna do it against his friend. Oh yes, that's right. Cause you may know, <laughs> uh, Kevin Owens is going to SmackDown. Kevin Owens get a victory in his farewell match versus Sami Zayn, Drew McIntyre, and Damian Priest. With the judgment they get a victory. It's kind of funny they booked it because it was going to be right now. 
Drew McIntyre with the victory over Damian Priest. What a bad night it's been for Judgment Day with Finn Balor and Damian Priest both taking L's here tonight. And that's leading us to a matchup between Shinsuke Nakamura and Seth Rollins. Actually, I'm hearing the matchup is going to be between Shinsuke Nakamura and Mad Cat Moss. But I'm sure Seth is somewhere in the back. Watching this match. And wonder why people are singing this man's song. Because this man is awesome. I've said it numerous times, I am going for Shinsuke Nakamura to pay the Though I have some love, I have a lot of love for all three of these men. It's going to be a crazy main event with Shinsuke Nakamura. One fall. Making his way to the Seth ring Rollins from Kyoto, and Jim Japan. Weighing so in at, at 220 pounds, Shinsuke. I haven't made up my mind Nakamura. yet, but that matchup will probably be a triple threat ladder match or either a triple threat elimination. Either way, it's going to be great. Money in the bank. And also, we have another big announcement in the main event at the start of the intros. In the main event, another big time. Big, big, big time announcement concerning money in the bank. During Logan Paul's. I think Logan, we got, I think Logan's gonna be up at the end of the show. Just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. tonight if you're wondering this could be the last time you see mad cat moss because i do like straight up sins yes it probably is the last time you'll see mad cat moss in the ring can he get a win over shinsuke but the thing is if he get a win over shinsuke tonight it will continue his uh because of my own little silly rules shinsuke is a contender mad cat moss gets the w then mad cat moss will be also added to the matchup making him a fatal photo See what happens. Here we go. Oh, look at Mad Cop here right now. Oh, the number one contender. Let's think about everything Shinsuke went through to get to where he was. You know, at the beginning of the year, failing to get in that matchup to crown our first champion, uh, being in a rivalry that extended to hell in the cell with the bunny, bad bunny, who we have not seen since then. And then finally winning his chance and being named the number one contender to Seth Rollins Championship. It's all about being at the right place at the right time. And you never know when those right times can happen. They happen a lot of times right here on ADG Universe Raw, that's why you should not miss anything because you never know when that person may make their moment, make their opportunity, and tonight could be Madcap's opportunity at getting that done. A kick to the face there. we on the outside. Madcap could really uh, up his career here in ADG Universe. Madcap now working over. Huh, let's just talk about the fact that Madcap Moss has not been touched in this matchup. It's been all Mad Cat Moss. I know, I, I must have jinxed it. Well, Mad Cat is being a beast. He must know, his life depends on his likelihood. The last days of him being in Edge Universe are here. And if he loses, that's it. It's over. And I bubble him in the ring at the count of eight. But I am impressed with what Madcap has done so far.
But sadly, this could be the end for Mad Cat Moss. You know, if you're the champ, you're probably rooting at this time that the number one contender gets it done. You don't want to have too many people in your matchup. You don't want your matchup to be a fatal four-way situation going into the pay-per-view, but in Adrian Burst, that is always a risk. You may think it's going to be one-on-one, -on -one, but then it turns out to be a five-way matchup and still cage. <laughs> when it's all said and done by the time we arrive at the pay-per-view, but right now, Shinsuke is losing it here on Mad Cat Moss. Wait a minute. Where's Seth? Seth? Is Seth coming out here? Nope. Seth did not come out here. Maybe Seth don't give a crap. And now Mad Cat Moss off of the distraction that we thought was Seth Rollins. Into the cover. Could this do it? Mad Cat's going to Money in the Bank. His career is not over yet. The distraction, and then the jackhammer slam. What should I say? The mad hammer Here's slam. Mad Cat Moss, y'all. We've seen it over the last couple weeks here on Monday Night Raw. Superstars shocking all us. These superstars are raw right now, y'all. They are. None of them are going down for the three count. None of them are settling. And Mad Cat Moss definitely isn't settling. He just punched his ticket to the main event of Money in the Bank. All right, two more matches on the card here tonight. Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey coming up next. But I want to talk about the Logan Paul versus Rob Van Dam matchup. Once again, in case you missed that part, there will be a big announcement big announcement about these competitors in the main event concerning money in the bank becky lynch versus ronda rousey let's get it last week in the scrimmage ronda rousey lost but she says this week she can get it done ronda rousey also says she's a little upset that she has to beat more superstars now. She has to take on Carmella. She has to take on E. Torres. And most of all, she's still looking for her ADE Rocks Sports Games Network Championship title that she won years ago. It was never, you know, she won it, well, she won it by over a year ago. And she's wondering where it's at the since we moved channels. Four, she's four. like, where Make is her, her championship? She California. wants it back. And she's gonna get the championship one way or another, she Ronda says. We'll see. We'll see, Ronda. Also, I do apologize. Things may be a little quiet because I'm gonna leave the announce table for a second, but I will be right back. Good thing I didn't leave completely all the way just yet. <laughs> I do apologize for that as well. I was about out the door. I was about out the door. Why isn't it starting? And I'll be right back. Dublin, Ireland, the WWE Women's World Champion, Becky
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back here at ringside for this matchup. Seems like to me that like Becky Lynch has took the majority of the whipping here. I could be wrong. It's going by the stats I've been given. Uh, sometimes they don't tell the entire story. And oh my God. A nice reverse net record. You know, it, you know, Ronda is right though. It, it was supposed to be just these two. And then events happen. You gotta blame it on Car Carmella in a way and Corey. But it is what it is. Oh, nice low clothesline discus from Ronda Rousey. Now Ronda with a rebound super punch. Something super from Ronda Rousey. Look, like Ronda's learned a lot from her uh, last matchup from Becky Lynch here. Will be enough for her to get some momentum because two losses, that's gonna hurt. But a lot of limb damage given here as she locks in the submission once again. Ronda Rousey gets out. And it was like the V2 disarmor that Becky Lynch took there. It's me that Ronda Rousey just took. Off the ropes go Ronda Rousey. Went for the knee. Knee misses. And now, Becky Lynch with a nice suplex. Snap suplex there. Going back to the arm. Going back to the disarmor. Looking to tap out Ronda Rousey. Can this do it right here? Ronda in a very bad predicament. She gets out. Ronda Rousey gets out of the disarmor. Only a woman like Ronda Rousey can get out of it to the Stormer that often. That's why Ronda Rousey is one of the biggest threats that Becky Lynch can have. Oh man, that was a great, great, great rally driver there. No, that was Simone drop, excuse me. And now Ronda with Piper's pit into the, where's she going? Nope, she's not going into the cover. She's looking for something else here. What's Ronda gonna go for here? Ronda's going for the arm bar herself here. Ronda Rousey with the submission. Ronda's arm bar here. Locked in nice and tight. But just like I said about Ronda concerning her submission and her ability to get out of maneuver, Becky Lynch has that same ability, making it a little bit harder for Ronda Rousey. Though Ronda Rousey will also at times lock in the ankle lock, but it's not really her go-to submission. And now after the hip toss, Becky tried her. She didn't get it. You gotta wonder is Becky being a little bit desperate at this point or just knowing that if she wants this victory, she might have to be a little bit more uh, aggressive with the pinfall. Smart whereabouts from Ronald Rousey. Rolling out of the ring just in the nick of time. From the top rope from Becky Lynch, something super missile drop kick to the face of Ronda Rousey. Falls it up with an elbow. Becky Lynch right now in control. Out there with the announced team. And, oh. And me, because I'm out here with the announced team. Ronda Rousey with a very powerful scoop slam. But Becky managed to dust it, dust it off and get back in control. Oh, she ducks up under Ronda, and now the manhandle slam. That could probably do it right there. Ronda Rousey in big trouble. And she gets the dub. A hard fought battle. What is, what is the, why? What, Becky, Becky with the steel chair. What is going on here? And what, Sonya Deville? Sonya Deville saving Ronda Rousey. These two don't even normally get along, but tonight, Sonya Deville saves Ronda Rousey. Where is this gonna go in our road to Money in the Bank?
interesting events with Sonya Deville on the save for Ronda Rousey. Could we see another new team forming right here in AGG Universe? Anyway, that's going to lead us to Logan Paul versus Rob Van Dam. Now, the big announcement. The big announcement for Logan Paul and Rob Van Dam is this. These two superstars both will be featured in this year's Money in the Bank for WWE 2K23 AEDG Universe. Logan Paul and Rob Van Dam is on a one-way ticket the to the top of their careers. Who would you like to see win it? Would you like to see Logan Paul win it? Or would you like to see Rob Van Dam win it? You can tell me here. Or you can tell me here too. You also can vote in the community tab, letting me know who you think should win Money in the Bank out of these two. Should it be or should it be someone else? Logan Paul, Rob Van Dam. Who should win ADG versus Money in the Bank? Of course, we all know that Logan Paul thinks he should win money in the bank last night he last week excuse me he didn't win at all but he still think he demands that he says that Robin then got lucky just like he got lucky with crimes he committed in the streets with Sabu are you serious and his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam! You better, be, you better be careful. I haven't named the other competitors for Money in the Bank. You, 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 you say too much, and the next thing you know, you'll see the homicidal, suicidal, death-defying Sabu at Money in the Bank. And do you want that? Do you want that, Logan Paul? I'm happy to see Rob and Dam a part of Monday Night Raw and AGG Universe. And I hope, I hope, if, if I can name a winner, it will be Rob Van Dam. It's Rob Van Dam. Monday Night Raw. Is Rob Van Dam in y'all mind one of the main tickets for the show at the moment? Yeah. I think he's one of the most interesting um, prospects. You see where Rob Van Dam goes? You know, at this point in ADG versus see like the matches, the moments that he can make, uh, matches he can make. I mean, we can see Rob Van Dam versus the main event James. Rob Van Dam versus Seth Rollins. They both respect each other. But those two going head to head would be great. Oh, look at this. Rob Van Dam. Nope, nope, nope. Look at this. Oh, what a counter. Nice sequence there. You don't see moves like that that often from anyone, but you see them right here in ADG Universe. That's a fact. That's a big fact. Into the cover, the kick out by Logan Paul. I mean by Rob Van Dam. Nice hit by Logan. Logan don't want another loss here. Headed into Money in the Bank. He wanna learn Robin down. He don't they don't know the other competitors yet. Some of those are gonna be surprises. And I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, nice move by Robin and damn, this is why I'm so excited for this guy on the show. Uh, you can see a lot of surprises. I, I, will, I was not joking when I said you might see Sabu. You might see Sabu. Hell you might see Jay White. You might see there's no telling who you might see at Money in the Bank for AG Universe this year. And if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. But we do know two superstars only, and that is Rob Van Dam and Logan Paul. But Logan may regret those words. I may put Sabu in the match at Money in the Bank. You may see El Fantasmo. Into the cover and, and real talk, I do got an El Fantasmo call that I probably will release as well. So I got a lot of calls that I haven't released. If some of you guys are wondering, am I still making calls? I am. And looking here, after the, 
the split legged moonsault from Rob Van Dam. He's not done. He's going up top. Rob Van Dam. So much momentum last couple weeks. Oh, missed the five star frost splash. That could be it. The fans are booing right now. They don't want to see Logan Paul win this. But Logan Paul right now looking for the buckshot better than Hangman Adam Page. Buckshot into the cover. Logan Paul. An impulsive buckshot. Logan up top with a splash of his own. Misses. I'm getting word from the 2K Board of Directors that this matchup is officially a three-star main event. Of course, you would get at least three stars when you got Mr. Five-Star Rob Van Dam in there. Oh, nice counter by Rob Van Dam. I think once Rob Van Dam get that dust off, he's going to be one hell of a competitor. Rob Van Dam again, five-star frost splash into a cover. Could this be another victory for RVD here on Monday Night Raw? Oh. Two count. I can't believe it. Rob Van Dam can't believe it. Believe it. This right here should have been over. Logan Paul must have been drinking his Wheaties and then maybe even um, smoking some of RVDs and Sabu's Kush, if you know what I mean. And I don't think you should do that. I'm just saying maybe that's what's going down. Um, don't do drugs, people. Don't do drugs. And oh, the drop kick to the back. Logan Paul is hanging in there. I think he, he did enough, but he's became a very durable superstar from these matches with Rob Van Dam. We can see that, but, the, but can he figure out a winning formula, you know, to get the W and get the one, two, three, which is the W. Oh my God, release suplex. We are release suplex into the cover goes Rob Van Dam. Robin M so smart, knowing when he may have an advantage, knowing that Logan Paul's back is probably injured a good bit, and he's done enough damage to go after the back. But then also knowing your moveset, knowing what you're capable of, and recognize it in your opponent when you can get a W after, say, maybe a simpler move that isn't your finisher move. A punch is right here, right hand after right hand. Logan Paul now, Logan going to the outside. He knew it. that was so smart. He sensed that Robert Dam was going to roll out. He walked out there before he could even do it. And now Northern Bridge Suplex on the outside. These guys going at it. Punch is here. And now, oh my God. Oh my God. On the outside, a power drive by Logan Paul, baby. That right there could end the match. That could be it. Logan realizes it. Rolls in Robert Dam. Looking for that finish. Looking to hook that leg, baby. He's hooking it. He's getting the count. Can he get the three? No, he only gets two. That would have been, that would have been something else. But Robert M. So that he's durable. He still can dish out some hardcore, extreme matches and stay in the game. That's what he's going to have to do with money in the bank. And Robin has won money in the bank in WWE. He definitely could do it here in AJ. Oh, suplex. Kip up by Robin M. Robin M with the close line. Drop kick. Missed by Logan Paul. Back to the back with the punches. DDT. Robin Dam in the rollout by Logan Paul. What a match. And now the directors are telling this match is four stars and a half. And oh, Robin Dam. Robin Dam, the whole effing show. Over the top rope. Looking to get five stars here tonight versus Logan Paul. They are tearing the house down. Logan Paul and RVD. This must have been Jay's night, and it was Jay's night in a way. But this matchup between Logan Paul and Rob Van Dam. I'm just saying. Was it was, was Jay the main event? <laughs> or was Robin Dam the main event? Let me know in the comments below. And now Logan Paul's gonna fly looking to be, he's like, he's gonna be the one who's gonna end this. You gotta give it up for Logan. After the DDT, the cover here, Robin Dam just shooting his veteran proudness. 
He hooks it and get the three. Another big victory here tonight for Rob Van Dam. What a match. What a victory. Some good sportsmanship on the back end here. But will Logan Paul shake this man here? No, Logan. Logan with the low blow to Rob Van Dam. He is so sick and tired of this man. He's so sick and tired of losing, but come on. Come on. And that money in the bank, he can do that and get away with it. Ladies and gentlemen, stick around. I got the power rankings coming to you. What a show. All right, guys. If you enjoyed the show, make sure you uh, leave likes and comments. Man, that was a great show, man. That was a great show. It was... It was Y'all know it was. Let's give it up to Bad News Barry, who's at the top of the power rankings despite his... Let, let me make sure. Let me um advance. Let me advance this show. Of course, by the way, as you can see, our next stop is NXT. I'm going to try to get NXT up as soon as possible. In the next two days, I want to do it, to be honest. I got to up my game between now and when the game release so I can finish my season. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, let's look in now. Because I don't think he should have had that. All right, no, they still giving it to him. Okay, bad news, Barrett. I mean, he did put on a good performance. Uh, so the fans and you know the 2K board directors are saying that uh, bad news, Barrett is number is at the top of the power ranking still despite his loss. And like I said in his match, he been putting on good matches. He just haven't been getting wins. Uh, e Torres. And number two on the Raw ranking, she's been a big part of the show since coming or since her debut. I agree with that. Number three, Jay Uso. This man Jay Uso right now. Let me let me take a screen of that. This man Jay Uso right now. He's getting it done at number three here in the power rankings. Dakota Kai, tag champ, uh, at number four. Number five, Luke Gallows, who is an undisputed tag team champion. Nikki Bella at number six. We seen Nikki and Bree. Nikki at number seven, by the way. We seen Nikki and Bree uh, get it done in the tag team division. And you can see right here, that's probably you don't see EO nowhere in here. You just see the code or stuff. And EO's been putting her on her performance, and maybe not as much as say Nikki and Bree. And that's probably where the problem lies. EO maybe needs to step it up uh, if they're gonna keep the tag titles. Apollo Cruz, we didn't see him here tonight. We didn't see none of the great in the continental performance but i'm gonna change that next week uh apollo cruz and gunther and mustafa ali is on a one-way course in a triple threat ladder match as i mentioned and that's him at number eight number nine natalia we haven't seen her since losing uh natalia still has the title she's still representing raw she's just been added to raw so we haven't really seen her over here and number 10 Seth freaking Rollins, baby. He's the champ. We didn't really see that much in the night. We did see the distraction from Seth Rollins, which was quite interesting. The distraction from Seth Rollins, but not the pure presence of the architect of, you know, him himself, Seth freaking Rollins. We didn't get to see him. But, yeah, I mean, that's the show. I mean, I really liked it. Uh, our next stop is NXT. You guys let me know, what did you think about the show here tonight? Did you enjoy it? Uh, what would you like to see on any of our shows? What would you like to see on the channel? Let me know, and I'll see you guys next show, next video. I'm out of here. Peace.